Punches thrown at a NASCAR race, and not just between two drunk dudes in the stands. Mercedes announces their G code, and Land Rover wants to take on Tesla now as well. Plus, the new Fast and Furious movie trailer, comment of the week, and our buddy Danny Bop stops by the studio. What's up, everybody? Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed Mr. Murica filling in for me this past Friday. I mean, what a great guy he is, huh? Good guy and hair, I'll tell you. Something else. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily. Welcome to a whole new week of it. <laughs> you won the prize. It's gonna be great. Max, do you know what no episode? No idea. You have no idea. No. I, I know it. You do? Yeah, 1980. Oh, yeah. 1980th episode. So, welcome to the 80s, a great decade that I was born in as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. But in 1980, the king of cool, Steve McQueen, passed away from cancer, that piece of sh disease. McQueen was an actor and marine and automotive enthusiast. You could see him in movies like Lamar, Bullet, of course, with the famous Mustang, and The Getaway. Steve McQueen. And that right there is your 1980 fact. 1980 episode fact. There you go. So I'm sure a lot of you saw this trailer over the weekend for the latest and last installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, Furious 7. It's exactly what you'd expect. Action-packed and way over the top stunts that if you did in real life would almost always certainly end in death. <laughs> There's one where Paul Walker runs on the top of an RV going over a cliff, then jumps and then grabs the spoiler of a drifting car right near the edge. Great stuff. Obviously, it's cool to see the late Paul Walker in the movie. I looked for any uh, you know, CGI type stuff or CGI versions of him, but couldn't see any in the trailer anyway. So obviously in the movie, they're gonna have some of those. And they had his brother like, filling in for him as well. Mm -hmm. Furious 7 is scheduled to hit theaters on April 3rd, 2015. In related news, we were pitching the idea of Fast and Furious Lane Daily, where I give the news while doing action stunts. Yes! Can't wait for that one. Yeah, or if it, you know, it might not get picked up. Wow, that's right. Perfect song for action stunts. The big story is Sunday. The big story in Sunday's NASCAR AAA Texas 500 wasn't that Jimmy Johnson won. It was the fact that fisticuffs were getting thrown between Jeff Gordon and Brad Keselowski. Gordon was pissed because Keselowski hit Gordon's car during a restart after a yellow flag, taking him out of position and leaving him to finish 29th, and Brad finished third. After the race, whoa. Fists started flying in the pits between crews. They walked away with a few cuts on their faces and uh, probably could have filled up like 20 swear jars. A little bit of curse words flying back and forth. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's at a NASCAR event. Brad defended his actions, but Gordon was like, he's just a dipsh**. The way he races, I don't even, I don't know how he ever won a championship and I'm just sick and tired of him. End quote. That's what he said. No word on any fines yet, but the, the drama's great stuff. People love the drama. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there you go. The Mercedes-Benz G-Code concept made its debut in Beijing during an announcement of a new hydrogen electric startup for Mercedes. G-Code, huh? Sounds like a new rapper. It's like, yo, you hear that new G-Code? G-Code joint? Guy yeah, Guy Code. <laughs> the model would slot below the GLA for young and cool mobility. Whatever that means. It runs on a turbocharged hydrogen combustion engine, and there is an electric motor as well. And it looks pretty cool all the technology folding out of the dashboard, the steering wheel like, goes like that, and it's not even a whole wheel. It's pretty cool. I doubt it's ever gonna actually happen because of being a concept and all. I mean, the technology in there looking like that. Located below the trunk are two electric scooters, which are recharged while the vehicle is driving in case you wanna you know, get your scooting on. The concept will also show up at the LA Auto Show, which we will be there, and that's the related news. That will be there. <laughs> Seems like everyone is gunning after Tesla. Last week, we heard that Porsche will have a go at the Tesla Model S, and today it looks like Land Rover is gunning for the Tesla Model X. Word on the street is... Word is money, brother. Word of course, it's money, brother. But Range Rover is plotting an all-new model to compete with Tesla's all-electric crossover. Sorry. Range Rover will probably say something like, this is still a Range Rover at heart, and you can go off-roading into the wilderness. But let's be honest here, people. Off-roading is strenuous on a car, and it would definitely use more battery power than just regular road driving. So where the hell are you going to find an outlet to charge your car out in the wilderness? Sure, bring a generator. 
but now you're using gas to charge a car, defeating the whole purpose. So you're back where you started. But we'll see what happens. You know. What's going to happen now, though, is do you guys know what time it is? <laughs> Comment to the week time, my man. Max, you got it, man. 100%. That's two weeks in a row. Two stars. Five stars. Two stars? Yeah. Whatever. Comment to the week. Comment our show. Yeah, comment of the week. Comments. Nice. I got to be honest. It was more like commenter of the week last week. W-E-A-K. But it's all right. We found one, and it's from FLD fan Devin Dooling, and he said, Hey, FLD crew, I was driving home when I saw this Fisca Karma crash into the Ferrari shop. OMG! Go on Fisca Karma crash Ferrari La... What is it? La Jolla. La Jolla. And you will find the pic, and if you could show both pictures on the next episode, that would be great. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> he means thanks. Well, Devin... I uh, don't know how you go on Fisker Karma Crash Ferrari La Jolla. Is that a new search engine or something? No. But on a hunch, we thought you might have meant Google. So we went ahead and typed that in. And sure enough, a Fisker Karma crashed into the comedy store and Ferrari of San Diego. No one was hurt, and no cars in the showroom were hurt, but there was some structural damage, structural damage to the Ferrari dealership. So there you go. So he uh, told us to look that up. We did, and there it was. All right, so thanks for the comment. And uh, let's, pick up, let's pick up the comment <laughs> status this week. All right? A little more taste, a little more words. A little, little, little yeah, you know, just make them fun and informative. Like the show, right? There you go. All right, we introduced you to this guy in our Lexus RCF FL Detours. He's basically our West Coast FL Detour host. Say that three times fast. West Coast FL Detour host. West Coast FL Detour host. West Coast FL Detour host. Whatever. So joining me today in the studio, we want to formally introduce you guys to Danny Bop right, right here. Right What's here. What's up, up brother? D? Good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. How you doing? Came all the way over from the West Coast just to be on the show today and say what's up. Yeah. What's now, up, guys? So you're originally from the West Coast, right? No, I'm oh, actually from Missouri. Yeah. From Missouri. I know. Right in Central America, yeah. So I'm from Missouri and then moved to North Carolina with my family because my dad's in racing and stuff. Right. So um, he started to work at a race shop and then I moved here for a few years, and then oh, right. I've been in uh, LA for almost five now. Nice, and you have yeah. a racing background, right? I do, yeah, I started. See that, uh, yeah. cred. Yeah, that's right, street cred. <laughs> you guys are like, who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. Who's this douchebag? Is this a Lexus commercial or what? <laughs> You're like, well, I am a douchebag, but I have a racing nah. background, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I started racing go-karts at 11, and then I kept like going up through the ranks, and so recently I raced in a, a local NASCAR series in near LA, so nice. there you go. Street cred. And he's also a stunt driver in commercials. If you saw that Mercedes CLA commercial, the one that's playing over our faces right now, yeah, that's Danny getting out of the car, taking the helmet off, and walking away. That's right, pouring water <laughs> on the head. How'd you like it's, driving? It the... sounds oddly sexual, but it's not. How'd you it's... like driving the CLA? It was nice, actually. Yeah. I mean, the <laughs> screen though, the screen was just oh, a... <laughs> the screen, of, the screen to frame race. I know it's bad. Oh, no, man. I had like I had like 40 seconds in the car, you yeah. know, because I had, I spun around and did a 180 and did some burnouts with it and stuff, but. Which was good to do. Front wheel drive is actually, you know, it's a pretty good car to do some burnouts. Yeah, have some fun there. Shockingly, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It's a nice little car. It had the AMG package on it and everything. Yeah, well, yeah. but it wasn't the AMG though, right? In the commercial? Mm, no. It no, just, it had, yeah, it just yeah. had the, like the wheels and. The, yeah. That's it was right. like it was like a pseudo AMG, you know. It, what what uh you were in another commercial too, right? Where is it? Yeah, Porsche Cayenne. And that's not out yet. The, uh, no, no, that's still pending. Yeah, still I know. pending. I know. Everybody's on on the edge of the cliff Why? right now. It's like. Is it maybe not going to go to air? No, it is. It's supposed to air. I don't know when, though. Oh, yeah. so you look out for that. When yeah. it does, we'll let you know. Yeah, absolutely. Course. So Danny will be doing a lot more FLD tours for us on the West Coast. So uh, I think our FLD question of the day today should come from you. All right, fine. Um, <laughs> so in future episodes for FLD West Coast, what would you like me to drive? There it is. What kind of car do you want to see Danny Bop? And for people that aren't sure, Danny Bop is his real name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It sounds like a stage name. It does, it does. but it's kind of cool. So, you know, it's, it's, people, people always said you should either be in porn or be a race car driver. So I was like, I mean, ah. it's, it's, it's no Derek D. Yeah, exactly. You, you're starting you, D. You got a D in there. Right, I know. Yeah, it's, it it's at least in there. Yeah. Nice. Danny Bop, everyone. Formally introduced right here. That's right. In the FLD studio. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Danny Bop. And uh, let's go, Giants. Right? Tonight. I know. Are you yeah. a giant fan?
no. <laughs> well, Devin, I don't know how you go on Fisker, Karma, Crash, Ferrari, La Jolla, but is that a new uh, search engine or something? La Jolla. La Jolla? Is it La Jolla? It's La Jolla, right? Like, all right, go back. <laughs> In the studio today, I want to formally introduce you to our FLD Tour coast host on the West Coast, Danny Bop. What's going on, oh, How's it going, man? Yeah, good to see you. You're over here. Yeah, oh, hey, yeah. Good to see you. Oh, man. Thought it was going to be over there. Yeah, it's just... Did you go like this? It's hard. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Just random question. What do you do when you get a... Say you have to drive like an American pickup truck, like a, like a Ford F-150 or something. Well, just like Mr. America. Throw some hammers back there. Exactly. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.